Let's cap of the month award show the way that it stands now. High def people, you didn't miss anything but the intro. Christelle, that was fast. Campus reform, Peter Frick. Gotta watch how you say that one. Good frickin' article. Ole Miss renames Christmas event because it con uh, connoted too much Christianity. You mean there could be some Christianity in Christmas? That is like saying that you have canceled Thanksgiving because it might be too American. It is an American holiday. The point is, you are allowed to have a Christmas party. Nope. In an effort, now you can't make someone be a Christian, that's, I'm no one saying that. In an effort to create more inclusive environment, the University of Mississippi, who gets mentioned in the Dunce Cap of the Month award show, again, it's on December 8th, but I had to bring it into this one, renamed its annual campus a grand old Christmas, now it's called Hottie Toddy Holiday. It reminds me of the dreadful Usher song. What is that? Hottie Toddy Holiday. For more than six years, the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss, has celebrated the start of the Christmas season with a festive event called a Grand Old Christmas. This year, however, the event was renamed a Hotty Toddy Holiday in an effort to be more inclusive. Pause. This is why you listen to the show. If I was the dean of the school... Now, a lot of you are saying, let the, uh, let the whiners just leave the school. I agree, but if you're running a school, you have to be a little more uh, diplomatic than that. I would say our Christmas party stays exactly the way it is, in every way, shape, manner, and form. If you would also like to have a holiday party happening at the same time in another area of the school, it's Ole Miss, it's big enough, trust me, then you may do that as well. But the Christmas party remains. That's pretty damn exclusive to me. It's a lot better than changing the grand old Christmas to the hottie toddy. What the hell is a hottie toddy holiday? We really wanted to change the atmosphere from last year. And that would explain the name change. Kaya May, K-A-Y-P May, co-director of special events at the Student Activities Association, S-A-A. -A. How about A-S-S? Told Watch 99 is a link for that. Grand Old Christmas connoted too much Christianity on campus. So we wanted to have more of an inclusive environment for the holidays this year. This woman should be run out of the school for doing this. I'm serious. If the Christians should have an absolute uproar over this. Because... Nobody, the government is not allowed to stop a, re, a representation of Christmas. The government is simply not allowed to make you subscribe to any religion. It is not what's being made in here. It says, in addition to the name change, May noted that the official colors of this year's festivities were red and green, right? Right? They were red, blue, and silver which he described as part of an effort to attract a more mature audience. So if you celebrate Christmas, you are immature. If you are a Christian, you are immature. No, that's not offensive. How about if you celebrate Ramadan, you're immature. If you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, then you're really immature. Does that offend you? Because that's what they just said about Christians. It would attract a more mature audience. Yeah, those, you know, that are mature enough not to believe in God. With a winter wonderland rather than a Christmas theme. Yeah, because we all know that winter wonderland is so very mature. The whole world and the universe and all that we know was created by the winter wonderland. It says, in an apparent contrast to the school's professed pursuit of a more mature audience. Gotta love that. Please contact this hag. Activities included ice skating, pictures with Santa, and arts and crafts. The event even had a mascot, a life-size gingerbread guy named Gingy, reminiscent of the characters that regularly patrol the theme parks like Disney World. 
The original name, of course, they don't know where it comes from. It's a cheer that says Heidi Tidy. But many also believe it's an acceptance of canalized, of, of canalized in similarity to the Hottie Toddy, which uh, Usher manages to spell wrong. The Hot Toddy, a warm up whiskey drink that some see at the uh, evoking the stadium party atmosphere. Uh, as far as I know, it's bourbon and coffee, but I guess it's anything you do like that with coffee. Um, despite the SAA's determination to disassociate this year's event from the Christmas holiday, though, the celebration climax with the annual tree lighting, which still involved a Christmas tree, albeit without any traditional color theme or ornamenta ornamentation, which such decorations have been known. Have been known? It's a Christmas tree! That, friends, if you do not contact Ole Miss, then I, I swear to God, on a stack of Bibles, I don't even know why I'm doing the show. Contact them. Let them know you heard about this insanity. Um, and one more to get to before the actual winner, which is very odd for the correct views. But again, glitches being what the son of a glitch. Independent.co.uk. Climate change. Global carbon dioxide emissions stall for a second year in a row. This goes out to the uh, to the global warming crowd, of which uh, have been visiting my Bernie Sanders video. No one's answered the questions yet. They either insult me or the the uh, the the show or the lighting or something. They never they never answer the questions that are in it, which just proves that I was right. Global emissions of carbon dioxide this year have stalled for the second year in a row. But scientists have warned that it does not mean that the world has reached its peak carbon with greenhouse gases set to fall on the year. No, 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 of course not, because if they do, they can't tax you like they do. And they can't keep the lie up of global warming, which we know isn't happening based on climate gate and Lord Mogden and uh, even Russia. Russia, for crying out loud, a major, I would consider Russia a major country. And is there anybody listening to the show that would doubt that Russia is in fact a major country? Quit telling me that no major nation in the world doesn't believe in global warming. One of the few things that Vladimir Putin is doing wisely is getting them out of this false paradigm that man is warming the planet. We're not. We're just giving each other cancer. Not much better. Latest figures on fossil fuel emissions for 2015 show that for the first time during a period of global economic growth, that the amount of carbon dioxide being pumped into the atmosphere has remained stable for two consecutive years. And they're saying it's only because of an economic slowdown in China that's causing it. No. China is another major nation that in practice, although not yet uh, word, do not believe in global warming either. Although I certainly wouldn't want to live in certain parts of China because, again, I, I'm not blind to what greenhouse, greenhouse gases aren't warming the planet. But... If you want to tell me that they're giving you lung cancer, I'll listen to that all day. And you've got people like Christopher Reeves. Well, I remember Superman, his wife died of lung cancer and she was a non-smoker. So yeah, I'll, I'll listen to that argument all day. It says it is unlikely that emissions have peaked for good. This is because energy needs for growing economies still rely primarily on coal and emissions and decreases in some industrial countries are still modest at best. This is about crippling economies for the good of the dollar, friends. That is plain and simple what it is about. And my dear friends, that brings us to... I'm going to draw this out a minute because she's finishing the hat. Brings us to the Dundee of... The, excuse me, the dunce cap of the month. I'm used to saying Dundee of the day. The dunce cap of the month award winner. Dundee Day. How many of you know I only use it for the uh, dumb cap of the month of March? I love that song. What's the dumb, 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 dumb to do? Who has won the dunce cap of the month of March? Before I get into it, I have to let you know what inspired it. Subscribers, make sure you give me a thumbs up when I say this. How many of you remember the Halloween shows and the, uh, the, uh, would you recommend Windows 10 to a friend or colleague? No, because you just interrupted my show. Um, the so, No, I won't. I'm not recommending it just because they did that. Um, Arg Mortis is a character that appears on this show. and It's a fake character. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up my Halloween shows or my April Fool's Day shows. I create fictional characters. 
and I act out the part. Well, this year, Christelle wasn't able to do it, and the show, in my opinion, was the worst. However, the character, and I, I, I didn't do my best, but at all, but Ard Mortis in last, and I hate to send people to this show, but last Halloween show, the fake character, Ard Mortis, Ard Mortis, of course, is the, uh, is the person who answers the phone here at the Correct Views. He's in charge of the Human Resources Department. You'll meet him in a minute. Arg Mortis, the fictional character who I'm now going to speak of at, for the rest of the show, as if he was real, just to catch everybody up who doesn't subscribe. So Arg Mortis made this prediction, and wouldn't you know he was right. He was absolutely right. He said that the United Nations and the EPA was going to say that pumpkins were a harm to the environment, and a cause of global warming. It was a joke. Arg said it as a joke. At least I think he did. It might have been a prediction. I'm not, maybe we're asking. But this happened November 3rd. That is after you will find the Halloween show that Arg and I did. Kit Daniels, Infowars.com, November 3rd. Illinois EPA, who wins the Dunce Cap of the Month Award? Oh, yeah, they won the Illinois EPA. Are you ready? I'm going to get labeled for a minute. They use too much of the song. Now you can't monetize it. Because I make so much. Illinois EPA pumpkins must be managed to protect human health. Pumpkins pose a risk to the environment if mishandled, according to the study. Now let me tell you something. Do you realize the amount of food, vegetable, rotting food, fruits and vegetables, that go into the dumpster of every convenience store and grocery store in America every single day? Do you realize how much lettuce and blah, 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 apples, whatever, thrown away because they're past their date? <laughs> Once a year, I don't know anyone that can even find a pumpkin in March, in December, in May, in August. No, you can't even find them for one thing. And I don't know anybody that uses a pumpkin except for October and November. Nobody. Nobody whatsoever. Maybe the people that make pumpkin spice cappuccino, but let's face it, it's powder. There's probably no pumpkin in it. One day a year is going to have a substantial effect on global warming. Not just that. But when you factor out the global warming and you listen to the other insanity that is in this story, you will see why Arg and I gave it the Dunce Cap of the Month award show. A def definite winner. The Illinois Environmental Protection Agency requires cities to perform nine anal retentive steps to manage and dispose Halloween pumpkins to protect human health because we all know that a rotting pumpkin is quite deadly. The agency wrote out a long list of steps that cities are required to perform when hosting a pumpkin collection event for old jack-o'-lanterns, including filling out a request for approval of a one-day pumpkin collection event form. You would need your form, yes. You can't possibly waste tax dollars without a form. And it's, uh, it's available on the IEPA website due to a server issue. Pumpkins must be managed in a manner that protects against releases, prevents nuances, and otherwise protects human health or the environment, Step 4 states. Operation of the site should be done in a way that will minimize rain. Well, now listen to this. Here are the steps. This, this is what your tax dollars go for, Illinois. People laughed at Ron Paul when he wanted to get rid of the EPA. Let's, let's take a real good look here at what the Illinois EPA does. I understand he was talking federal, but you know what I mean. The event must be limited to the collection of pumpkins that were utilized for decorative purposes only. I have a question here. And must not include garbage, food scraps, or landscape waste. Signs must be posted at the site indicating that the collection is only for pumpkins. 
So if you used the pumpkin for food, like to make a pumpkin pie, then you couldn't use, I guess you couldn't throw the stem away, right? Because it wasn't used as a jack-o'-lantern. Now what if you did what Christelle and I do? We, we, we froze the seeds, but we carved the pumpkin. So does that count as a decorative pumpkin or was that food? This, this is your tax dollars, friends. Pumpkins must be accepted only from private individuals. They, they cannot be commercial or industrial or agricultural pumpkins. So, I mean, if you grow pumpkins and you didn't sell them all and you need to get rid of them, then it's okay to let them rot. Those won't hurt the environment. But the guy that owns one pumpkin, he has to go through all this to get rid of it because his one pumpkin is going to hurt the environment. Of course, they're not going to do it for the agricultural guy that probably has 50 pumpkins rotting in the back he now, in December. Three, bags, boxes, candles, or other type of solid waste must be separated from them. Oh, you wouldn't want to forget that because, you know, wax is also a deadly neurotoxin to all of us. Pumpkins must be managed in a manner that protects against releases, prevents nuances, and otherwise protects human health and the environment. You must min minimize the amount of rain, water, and snow coming in contact with these stored pumpkins. Pumpkins should be collected at on-site container dumpsters, truck trailers, or roll-off box that is kept closed unless the pumpkins are placed in that unit. Oh, we wouldn't. Oh, that's important. Pumpkins must also be properly secured, because they run away, I guess, to prevent public access to the pumpkins after collection, including but not limited to preventing access to pumpkins during non-business hours. So if you had a pumpkin in front of your, say, barber shop, and it started to rot, you want to make sure that Nobody steals the rotting pumpkin prior to pumpkin collection day. So I guess you should bring the rotting pumpkin into your barber shop and then get up early in the morning and take it back out again. Because we all know that there is a rash of thefts going on with rotting pumpkins. And I'm glad they played step five even. There's still three to go. Six, management of the pumpkins, which you now had in your establishment all night to keep the PA happy, which I'm sure was healthy, and as you cough to death, management of the pumpkins that are killing you in your lungs must be limited to the following. One, acceptance of the pumpkins. Temporary storage of them before transfer off-site. Off-site transfer or pumpkins being moved to another site. Friends, the pumpkin that I used for uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween fell and kind of rotted here on the floor, and Christelle and I were like, oh, hell, and you know what? We cleaned it up. We lived. What? She's, she's always had a pumpkin for it. It didn't affect her at all. It was, I, I don't know. All pumpkins received at the collection event must be transferred off-site by the end of the day. Oh, by the end of the day, because otherwise God alone knows what's going to happen. All pumpkins must be transferred to the e IEPA permitted compost facility for composting, because you wouldn't want renegade composting happening, which is, of course, why they steal the rotting pumpkins, I understand now. People go around and collect them. Nine, the transfer and ultimate disposition of pumpkins received at the collection event must comply with the agency's approval, including all conditions contained in the approval. It goes on to say that this is a good example of an out-of-control government agency is a complete understatement. It's likely that the IEPA collects cities to go through all these steps because the U.S. Energy Department claimed that smashing pumpkins causes man-made climate change because people do it all year you always see people smashing pumpkins in february and every single valentine's day christelle and i are so sick of people smashing these damn pumpkins and causing the planet to warm you see it everywhere i'm glad it's being addressed with the passing of Halloween, millions of pounds of pumpkins have turned from seasonal decorations to trash destined for landfills adding to more than 254 million tons of municipal solid waste. This Halloween, think of turning this waste into an important trick. Uh, friends, I don't even know what to say. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to allow... Uh, he, he probably wants it a little darker in here. I'm going to allow Arg to go ahead and uh, read the Dunce Cap of the Month Award to you, and I'm also going to go ahead and uh, have him show you the hat that's uh, just about done here. Let me bring it over for him. As I do, uh, Christelle, zoom right in there. Don't forget, it is brought to you by StickerJunkie.com. That is right, StickerJunkie. 
and a uh, proud sponsor of the show. They do all the stickers that you see on the show. And I'll tell you what, friends. You want to make sure whatever you do, you go to Sticker Junkie and you let them know, hey, I heard about it on the Correct Views. Go ahead and type Correct Views into, a, uh, into the search engine and see what you get there. See what you get. You're going to be getting a discount. That's what you're going to be getting. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much turn this over to the infamous Arg Mortis. Again, fictional character. He's going to read to you the dunce cap of the month, and he's going to show it to you. And uh, I hope you guys are ready. Kill the lights a little bit. He does like it a little bit darker. It's true. It's true. Arg, are you ready? I'm ready. You got me talking about pumpkins. You always give me a stupid show. Arg, are you wearing a shirt? No! You said we were going live! But I, I don't really understand what that has to do with it. But okay, Art, go for it. Art, oh my god! If you call the correct views, you'll talk to me. I'm Art Mortis. I normally only ever come out on Halloween and April Fool's Day. But I made a prediction. Sam said I was kidding. I wasn't freaking kidding. I made a prediction because I'm Art Mortis. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award. This Dunce Cap of the Month award goes to you at the Illinois EPA for somehow finding a way to blame Halloween pumpkins for global warming. Never mind that the planet has not warmed in the last at least 15 years. Never mind that ClimateGate.org has proven that man is not warming the damn planet. Never mind that even NASA is now showing data proving that man-made climate change is a lie. You fools at the Iowa EPA have managed to dedicate actual time and effort into explaining how to properly rate pumpkins. You somehow seem not able to understand that normal, non-eaten vegetables thrown away daily would, by their very logic, decay on a daily basis more than pumpkins that most Americans only really use once a year to any degree that would affect warming, which it does not. You're listening to Art Mortis. There's a spelling error on this thing. They always give me some stupid show to go over, and then they wonder why I walk around the hallway of the correct views with knives. If you have any, any, any desire to talk to anybody in the show, go to the correct views at hotmail.com. I'll make sure I answer your email. If you want to call on the phone, most people, when they talk to me once, they don't ever talk to me again. But I'm going to go ahead, make sure that I show you. I'm going to show you the, the fun. She doesn't have the. You ain't got it finished. How could you not have it finished? The black ran out of ink. I need to the, get another black marker. The dunce. The dunce ran out of ink. Oh, the pumpkin plus time equals a penguin. And the penguin's in a coat. And it says, the pumpkins have warmed the planet. Now look at me. Uh, look at her. She doesn't even know how to run it. Crystal doesn't have any black ink. She run the lights like I'm in a freaking discotheque. And CMIV has me talking about pumpkins. Goodbye. I'm leaving.